Hello guys, what's up? My name is Hollow, and welcome back to Gallery Sweep. Uh, so last week we did the Pope family, and so we're gonna go ahead and go to the bottom and delete their file. Well, their old file anyways. Um, so here we go. You can go ahead and get rid of that. And then next up is the Moss Collier family. I'm not entirely sure if I'm ready to do them because like, um, I literally just recorded the, uh, Pope family. Like I just, I, I do batch recordings whenever I do gallery suite. So, um, I just recorded that. So I am coming off of three hours working on that family. So I don't know if I'm ready for another like three hours of a new family. Um, so we'll open it up and see how they look and see just how much work is needed. But it looks like it's going to be a lot. It looks like they're missing their outfits and their skin tones and just like a lot. So we'll open them up and take a look. And if I'm feeling it, we'll do them. If not, we'll switch to someone else. Um, okay, so let's check what all Erasmus has. So lost, he has his skin details, but... I do not remember that being what his face looked like. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to edit that. Um, I don't. Uh, I'm not a huge fan. Um, okay, let's see what his other outfits are. So he's got like half of his stuff, but I'd replace some of it anyways because I don't like the way it looks. Uh, Philomena. Oh no, she doesn't have her dress. Her dress was so beautiful. Like, um, let me see if I can show you in the thing. It was so nice. It was like this um, lace dress. It's like this thing right here. It was so pretty. And I have no idea who the creator is, so I don't know how to find it. But, oh, it looked so good. She looks so good in it. That makes me sad. <laughs> that makes me really sad. Ah oh, man, I don't even know what to put her in now. But, oh, she still has her formal, which is gorgeous. Okay, so she has literally, like, one outfit. Um, let's see, Leola. Leola has, like, nothing. Like, nothing. <laughs> she has, like, some shoes and, like, two shirts. Uh, let's check Lillian. Lillian has, like, two outfits. And Leonard. Let's check him. Leonard has nothing as well. Okay, so... I don't think I'm ready to do these guys right now because um, they are going to take a long time and I'm just not in the mood to do it. Like there's a lot of work that they need and it'll take like three, four hours to get through it. And like that was just looking at over their clothes. I haven't like, I know I want to change Erasmus's face, but I don't know about everyone else. I haven't even looked at that. Like, um, Philomena I think is okay. I think I just like her eyes are a little big her chin's a little small so I do a little bit of editing on her let's check Leola uh, Leola still has her skin details okay um, her chin's small I, again her eyes are kind of big so same sort of issue looks like the same thing for Lillian and then what does Leonard look like okay yeah Leonard is a bit of a mess um so he'll need a lot of editing uh yeah so i'm just i'm not gonna deal with these guys today it's just they, they need a lot of work and i'm not ready to do that right now i'm tired <laughs> um, maybe later so we're going to skip the moscolliers for today and i think next up is babiria and adongo and B babiria and adongo are actually sisters babiria is has albinism and adongo doesn't so that's why they look so different but they are actually sisters um let me see how they look because um because like if i were to do them i'd do them together since they are sisters like even even though i have them in separate households like i would still upload them as separate households but um like I would do them together in one video. And Adongo has I mean, this is a Babiria, sorry. Babiria has practically nothing. Like, not even her traits, because she used, like, she had a bunch of, like, custom traits. Um, let's see what Adongo looks like. <gasps> oh, no! Okay, I can't do Adongo right now, because, um, Adongo wears a binder, because Adongo is, uh, has gender dysphoria and they wear a binder so i need to get their binder back um 
before I can do them. So we have to save them for later because I, I, I want a dongo to be comfortable, you know, so I want them to be able to wear their binder. So, um, we will not be doing them today. I have to go find that CC and get it back. Um, so let's check out Sheena then. I love Sheena. I remember loving Sheena. Like she was the, um, she was the Sim that I played with, like when I was doing like the tutorial for Sims 4 when I first started and I just tried out all this random CC that I had. Um, because it was like CC that I would never pick because like I it just like stuff that I'm not like stuff that like I wouldn't wear like it was like like you can see her shirt like um let me pull it up again yeah you can see like her shirt like her like her boobs are like falling out of the bottom and stuff like that so it's stuff that like looks really cool and it's like really stylized and really awesome but it's like I, I, I wouldn't wear it like normally and like I don't know anybody who would wear it normally so it's like it's hard for me to make a sim that actually wears that stuff so I was like screw it I have all this cool CC I'm gonna try it so that's why <laughs> that's where Sheena came in and I was just putting in all this CC that I never use so um yeah i will probably do that again for her it's just use that other CC like where it's just sort of random and like stuff I don't really use very much but yeah she's missing a lot like she only oh she still has this outfit okay well yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do sheena then since we don't like um since i can't do uh babirie and adongo well i mean i could do babirie but i, I want to do them together so we have to postpone that and i'm not ready to do the um moscollier family so we're gonna go ahead and do sheena today and we'll see how it goes all right so when it comes to sheena um, as I said, I did play her for a little bit um, when I did like my tutorial playthrough of The Sims 4 because like when I first downloaded The Sims 4 like the thing like I mean I well let me go back a sec when I first started playing The Sims 4 I played on my Xbox so um, like I had a couple saves on there originally that were like I had like a sim, a sim self and like an alternate sim self and I had like uh, Gwendolyn Dyer who I met who I did in like another video I had like her whole playthrough and then I did like a vampire one and like I had like a whole bunch of stuff I was doing on Xbox right but then um, I started watching Claire Shimon and I saw all her CC and I got obsessed with it and I was like I need to play with CC so I got it for my computer and when I started on my computer I decided to actually play the tutorial because I never did that on Xbox so I decided to do the tutorial and that's when I played with Sheena but like before that like when I was on my um, computer all I did was play around and cast because that was the whole point of getting it on my computer was to get CC and play around and cast so Sheena was actually the first um, player person that I actually played with. So, um, it's kind of funny cause like she's so far up on the list. Like you think of all the people we've done before now, um, it's actually because this is like a remade version of Sheena. Um, because like I, it wasn't like remade. It was just like re uploaded. Cause it was like when I started a new save where I was going to actually play with her outside of the tutorial, but I never actually got to doing that. I just, I started the world and then like never did anything with it and then ended up deleting it later so she just like moved up in my gallery so that's why she's so far ahead even though she's like actually one of my earliest sims but yeah um as i said with sheena she was just sort of like a sim to play around with she was just like i wanted to try out all this different um cc that i never really used because there's like a lot of cc that i have that's like it's really cool and like it's very like um I don't know maybe it's like instagram baddie sort of idea like that sort of thing or it's like um like very showy like there's a lot of exposed like a lot of exposed skin and stuff that like I, you wouldn't like at least i don't know anybody who would normally wear that like just casually but it's still like really cool stuff and like i really think it's awesome when people dress like that like i think it's a lot of fun but like i don't personally know anybody who does it so it's hard for me to actually create a character that's like that because like i don't see it in real life all the time but like um for sheena it was just sort of fun to just go out and try that so it was just like using all the cc that i thought was really cute and everything but i just never really had a chance to use it so um, I decided to do that and just like sort of go with it and just give her outfits and be like, you know what, this looks cool. And like, so what if I never see people who dress like this? I think it looks cool. So I'm going to do it. So that was pretty much the whole idea for Sheena. 
Um, I did end up giving her some new traits too, because as you can see, she still has like um, two empty traits. That's because she used to have custom traits, because I used to use a lot of custom traits, um, but I decided to stop using them because a lot of them turned out to be very OP. Um, you know, there's just like way too much going on. Like I would start a save and then instantly all my Sims would be overwhelmed with moodlets from their traits. And I was like, oh my God, this is ridiculous. Like you don't need to be that emotional about it. You know, that sort of thing. But, um, Sheena, she had like a party girl trait or something. And then like, um, she, I think she had a juiceaholic one. <laughs> um, so yeah, she's like, um, she had like some uh, kind of custom traits and I had to go back and change them and I don't actually remember what I put in we'll see it in a minute because like I actually did it during this video so it will come up but I don't remember what I did um but yeah because it's been a couple weeks since I actually recorded this video I'm like I'm doing the VO like um maybe two three weeks after the actual video so it's been a it's been a minute for me <laughs> since I actually did this so I don't remember what traits I gave her or anything but yeah, I had a lot of fun doing her because, you know, it's just like, it's just fun to sort of go at it and just try the CC that like, cause there's all the CC that I have and like, it's really cool and it's really pretty, but it's just like, when would I ever use it? You know? So sometimes it's fun to just make a sim that you're just like, screw it. I'm going to throw on whatever I want and I don't care what it looks like, that sort of thing. So yeah, that's uh, sort of where I went with Sheena. Um, I thought it was a lot of fun and uh, she was a lot of fun to make and I really like how her outfits turned out. Um, I don't know if they really have a flow or whatever, but they're there. So yeah, that went pretty quick. So we'll do one more. Okay, so we're all done with Sheena. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and see who's next because we do still have some time because like it didn't take very long to do Sheena because um, like I didn't have to do like her CC or like I'm um, not her CC, her skin details and stuff. So she went pretty quickly. So let's see who would be next. So we can go ahead and get rid of Sheena down here. And then next up would be Dallas. Okay. So let's open up Dallas and see what she looks like. I have a really bad feeling that I didn't shave Sheena. Hold on. Okay, I did. She's good. <laughs> I just had this horrible feeling. I was like, oh my God, I didn't save her. But I did, so it's all good. Uh, anyways, here's Dallas. She's missing a lot. She like barely has, she's like five pieces of clothing total um, across all her outfits. So she doesn't really have anything. Okay. Why does it keep doing that? Like whenever I click on my Sims faces, it goes all the way into it, into detail edit mode. And I don't know why, but it's kind of annoying. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at her face. So I think I do a little bit of editing on Dallas. There's something about her face that's like odd to me like I don't think she looks bad or anything it's just like I feel like it looks a little strange so um, I'll probably play around with that a little bit but um I think she's pretty cute so I think we can like go in and get some work done on her but uh yeah let's go ahead and see how it goes okay so for Dallas as I said she was like a runaway team that I was working on um, and like I had this whole save file where I was doing like new crust and I replaced all the empty lots in new crust with like rundown or abandoned houses or whatever, or like little tent lots or stuff that I found on the gallery. And like in every single house I put in a different like runaway teen or teens. Like there were some houses that had like one or two people and then there were other, other houses that were just like by themselves like uh, Dallas was. And like for Dallas specifically, she ended up being like the one that I played the most because like for everyone else, they were sort of like, um, like I put everyone in there with the intention of like switching around through different houses because like I wanted to try that play style of just like um, switching between different houses and seeing how that went. But um, I didn't actually enjoy it very much. Um, I don't like switching houses. So I ended up just focusing on Dallas for the majority of the time. And Dallas was like a little different from all the other teens because like the other teens all had like a starting lot, you know, where there was something on their lot. But with Dallas, since she was the one I was playing like for myself to start with and like she was the main person I started her with absolutely nothing there was nothing on her lot and she had to build everything herself like a like a typical rags to riches runaway teen sort of thing but um yeah so I was doing that and it was a lot of fun and I really enjoyed it but it was like it was such a chaotic story for her because like her original character is like different from how she looks now like um in this one I think I made her like a loner and like loves the outdoors or something I don't remember but like her original character was very different because she had um oh no she was a loner and cheerful sorry I got that mixed up 
But yeah, her original traits were actually um, custom traits. And one of them was rebellious and the other one was like perpetual. I don't, I don't, I don't, I think it was perpetual motion. No, it was something else. It, but like she was a really angry teen, basically. That was like what her, um, her traits made her. And that was one of the reasons that I thought traits were so OP because like she was always angry like all the time and it was so hard because like I was trying to make her friends and stuff but she would just randomly get angry and like yell at everybody and like be mean to people and I was like oh my god Dallas that's not how you're supposed to be like you're not supposed to be a mean person you're just supposed to be like rebellious like what the hell but she was always angry so it was hard to play with her with um, her custom traits so when I read my hair this time I wanted to make her a little bit more like what I thought she would be like like the idea is that she would still be a rebellious teen who like just sort of does her own thing but like she's supposed to be like cheerful and happy and like she's supposed to be this like sweet kid right but she just sort of doesn't give a shit and does her own thing like that's sort of her vibe. So I wanted to make her new look reflect that. And I also like gave her the new traits where she's like cheerful and stuff to also reflect that. But yeah, um, she's like a lot of fun. Like her story was a kind of a weird one because like um, I did the runaway teen thing, but then I also made her a teen mom because like um, drama. <laughs> um, yeah, I did like a sort of messed up story where she was like, um, she ended up like dating an older guy which is like bad like I I 100% do not support this sort of stuff in real life but like when I play fictional stories it doesn't bother me so much but like in real life like an adult and a child an adult and a teen is not okay it's not like straight up I just I need people to know that I don't actually think that shit's okay it's just like it comes up in my stories sometimes but I swear to god I like I that shit is wrong I understand that I know that like that's not I do not support that stuff, but it happens in my story sometimes because it's just like, it's an interesting storyline to play out. But, um, yeah. So the idea is that, um, she started dating, um, a guy who was in her gardening club because she joined the garden gnomes basically. And, um, for whatever reason, like I have MCC, so it randomly selected Sergio Romeo and put him in it. And so like she started dating Sergio Romeo and like it's because I was also using MCC like my t my teens can get pregnant and stuff because of that but also I have um random I have like uh what's it called um risky fertility like risky I have risky pregnancies so um she ended up like accidentally getting pregnant and of course if you know anything about Sergio Romeo you know that he is a um he's a sim who hates children so he, he obviously wasn't happy when he found out she was pregnant so um she they ended up fighting and breaking up because of that and so she ends up being like a single teen mom who's like trying to build her own house living on her own so it was like a really like struggling story but um it was a lot of fun to play out and then like as she was like doing that she was also sort of making friends with the other like runaway teens that were all hanging out in newcrest so like while i was switching around to houses i set up relationships between her and a couple other sims so they were like friends and stuff like that and um it ends up like I ended up setting up like her own like new boyfriend basically because I was like oh, I'm gonna put in this guy and I think he looks super cute and I'm gonna have him date Dallas right that was my whole idea for them so um he's not actually my sim he was someone I downloaded from the gallery and I do not remember his name I think it was like um Zan maybe it was Xander I think I don't remember but um, I know his best friend was Gio and he and Gio lived together and Gio was also her best friend so um she ended up like hanging out around him because she was around Gio all the time but then um he was like really sweet and stuff and like when she had her son like when he became a toddler and stuff he was really good with her son so um they ended up like hanging out and like actually falling in love and it was like, really sweet cute and cute and um, he was actually a teenager, so they were actually, like, a decent age for each other. You know, it wasn't, like, messed up. So, um, yeah, uh, everything corrected itself in the end. <laughs> but, yeah, that was basically Dallas's story. Um, so, yeah, but um, it was a lot of fun. And, like, remaking her again was fun to do because it's just, like, it's been so long since I played Dallas. Like, I did that, like, um, I'd made that save probably, like, two, three two years ago maybe and I played it like religiously for like a couple months and then just stopped playing 
<laughs> because like I don't know it was just like I I sort of got bored with it like for me like a lot of people like when they talk about how they get bored of the sims they're like oh I play it like constantly and then I don't want to touch it for like two years right they say they do that but like for me I, I can play the sims whenever I just can't play the same save whenever so it's actually really hard for me to do my let's plays right now <laughs> because I get kind of bored with them I'm like oh I want to play something else you know I want to just switch around and jump to different stories and whatnot but um I can't really do that because that's not the way YouTube works. Like, if you're going to put up a series, you need to follow the series, right? So, um, it's a little difficult for me to actually do my series right now. But, like, when I play, personally, I have, like, 12 different play. I have, like, 12 different saves and I just jump around between them because, like, it's really hard for me to just stay focused on one save. So, that's sort of what happened with this one. I was, like, really into it for a while and then I was just like, eh, I don't care anymore. <laughs> and so, I sort of left it and it didn't get picked back up or anything. And then when I, like, went through through and like cleared all my cc i ended up deleting the save file because like when i cleared all my cc i knew i was gonna lose like a lot of stuff and i didn't want to have to like go back and try to fix all those worlds so i was just like screw it i'll just delete them all and start new saves and it'll be fine <laughs> and like on one hand i'm cool with it because it would have been so much work to go back and like fix all those saves but on the other hand it's like I kind of miss them like I miss these I miss these guys I miss these stories and stuff and like thinking about it I'm like oh man I wish I'd played more like I never had like I never had her like um finish like growing up you know like she never made it to young adult because I was playing on like long lifespan so like you can play long lifespan for like ever you know but um she never actually made it to young adult and like her and Xander never like officially like um settled down or anything I mean I mean they, they were like dating and whatnot and like I had intentions for them to eventually get married but like I never got to that point in the story so like they never had a kid together and it's like oh that's all stuff I would have liked to see but I didn't do it so yeah it's kind of fun like it's weird looking back at these characters and like thinking what could have been but um I like the new direction Dallas went in and um it was a lot of fun going back and revisiting her and yeah um it also was fun to redo Sheena and it'll be cool to maybe go back and play something new with these guys. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and had fun with it because I certainly did. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.